Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassandra and I'm gonna take you through this really relaxing, stretchy sequence that you can do after work towards the end of your day. So let's begin in a wide like a child's pose, big toes together, knees apart, walk your hands out and melt on down. And there are no props required for this class and it's suitable for all levels. So just get yourself as comfortable as possible here, relax your shoulders, and start to breathe deep down into your belly. Letting go of the day you've had, marking this transition, so that you can focus on yourself, and give your body and your mind a little bit of TLC. See if you can relax your hips even more. Go ahead and walk your hands in a little bit. We're going to thread the needle. So reach your left arm underneath you as far away as you can, keeping left shoulder and left ear to the ground. And you can interlace your fingers if you like, like what I'm doing here. And you're kind of reaching your knuckles away from you while still relaxing your neck. We're trying to stretch through our upper back in between our shoulder blades while keeping our legs and our hips in this wide legged child's pose. So even though we're twisting here, try to keep your breath going all the way down to your lower belly and lower back. Releasing the tension that we hold in our shoulders. And go ahead and release. We'll twist over to the other side. So coming back through to center, you're going to thread your right arm underneath you, lowering right ear and right shoulder towards the ground. And maybe same thing here, if you did it on the first side, you're going to interlace your hands and it's as if you're pressing your knuckles, reaching them away from you. So the further you have your right arm underneath you, the more intensely you'll feel this in your upper back. Just make sure that you're trying to press your shoulders down and away from your ears so that you're not creating any more tension in your neck. We're beginning today's practice with a lot of shoulder and upper body openers. And this is really for those of you who spent a lot of time sitting, maybe at a desk today. And you can ease your way out of this pose make your way into a tabletop stance so on hands and knees keep your hips directly over the top of your knees and walk your palms out in front of you as you melt your chest and your forehead down towards the mat coming into our puppy pose so a great little back bend here focus on pulling your lower belly in and pressing your armpits down towards the mat. You might need to tuck your chin to your chest a little bit here to keep your neck comfortable, but we're looking for sensation under our arms, into our shoulders, and through the upper back and chest area as well. This is a wonderful pose for your posture. And let's slide forward onto our belly. We'll come into Sphinx, another heart opening pose. You can readjust a little bit where you have your elbows and your forearms, but see if you can concentrate on rolling your shoulders back and reaching your heart forward. This is not really about height. Instead, I want you to think about length. 
as if you could grow taller and longer from holding this pose. And you can press your hip bones and your pubic bone into the mat as you reach your tailbone towards your heels and push into the tops of your feet. This will help to protect your lower back. If you want more sensation, you can come into seal pose by straightening your elbows, but please leave this out if it's causing pain or pinching in your lower back. This class is meant to be something you do for yourself and for your well-being. So make sure to honor your body. There's really nothing to prove here. Take another big breath in through your nose and fully letting it out and we'll release. Let's focus on our lower body a little bit more here, taking a laying quad stretch. So you can bend your right knee, reach back with your right hand and pull your heel towards your glute. And I'm kind of just resting my head on my forearm here. You can do whatever is comfortable. Try to keep your joints aligned, so don't let your knees widen. And the same thing here, in order to really target the front of your right thigh and to really get a quad stretch, you need to push into your pubic bone a little bit and even push a little bit into your right knee. We can have so much tension in our thighs. And just let that go. We'll do the same thing to the other side. So this time you're bending your left knee, reaching back with your hand and pulling it in. And my heel is going directly towards my left glute. See if you can focus the flow of your breath into your belly so that when you inhale, you feel your stomach push into the mat and you let your lower back really fill up with that breath. Feel any stress from your day just melt away. Bringing your full attention to this present moment. Knowing there's nothing else for you to worry about right now. Nothing else to focus on. And you can release the hold of that foot and you can just flip over so that you are laying on your back. We'll come into Supta Baddha Konasana, your reclined butterfly, also called reclined bound angle. So the soles of your feet come together to touch and I like to reach my arms up overhead for this just to invite a little bit more of an opening through the shoulders, but you can really place your arms wherever you want. There is minimal effort required here. We're letting gravity do the work for us. Notice if you're holding on to any tension. This might even just be in your facial muscles. Relaxing your jaw, the muscles around your eyes, all the way down to your belly and to your hips, letting your knees fall open as you breathe. If you had your arms up, you can slide them back down and go ahead and straighten your left leg, pull your right knee into your chest and cross it over into a twist. 
and I'm going to straighten my right leg. If this is too much, you can keep your knee bent and you can reach your right arm out to the side. So for this type of twist, you want both of your shoulder blades to stay in contact with the floor and you're trying to stack your right hip over your left hip. If your right leg is straight, you're gonna be feeling this down your hamstrings and down the side of your right thigh quite intensely. Your left hand can be placed wherever is most comfortable and natural to you. Some of you might be grabbing a hold of your ankle or even of your toes if flexibility permits. Bend your right knee. Let's make our way back through to center so we can do the same twist on the other side. So right leg is straight out in front of you. Bring your left knee to your chest and cross it over your body towards the right. Maybe straightening your left leg as you slide your right hand down the leg to wherever is appropriate. Stretch your left arm out to the side. Try to really plant and anchor your left shoulder to the mat so your chest is facing up. We're not chasing sensation or intensity. just doing what feels good to us after a long day. You can bend your left knee, come back through to center, and we'll come into Ananda Balasana, your happy baby pose. Hold on to your big toes. You can keep your knees bent, stacking your ankles over your knees. I'm doing a different variation here where I'm straightening my legs more into a straddle shape. You can alternate between the two or just choose the one that is best suited to you right now. Try to keep your tailbone pressing to the mat and make sure you're not curling your head off the floor. Only using a little bit of arm strength here. Let's release. We'll finish with Shavasana, our final resting pose. Take up some space. Close your eyes. And let yourself rest deeply. Only here for about a minute or two. Feeling the effects of your practice. And giving yourself full permission to relax. And you can start to move a little through your fingers and toes, maybe stretch your arms up overhead. We're waking back up, roll to one side, push your hands into the floor to come up and take a seat. Sitting up nice and tall, hands at your heart, take a cleansing breath. So big inhale through your nose and you can let it out your mouth, letting go. A little bow forward. Thank you so very much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will subscribe to my channel and practice again with me very soon.